What's going on friends? Hey, this is Adam with Hackleberry and uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time and uh, what's been going on with me is that we are finally uh, in North Carolina. We had uh, made the move from Missouri where we currently live or previously lived uh, to North Carolina and uh, I've been down here a couple months but uh, kind of paving the way for the family and they finally brought the family down. Uh, a couple weeks ago and stuff and so uh, today I'm getting uh, the opportunity to get out on the water I'm gonna be doing the uh, Hall River today and um, I just got me a nice new boat the Tsunami 145 but uh, I won't be going alone and uh, I'll be joined by uh, Tracy Allerson or maybe Alderson I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name just yet but uh, I'll check with him but uh, he's gonna be coming with me today and uh, the funny thing about it is is neither one of us have been on that stretch of the river uh, I went on a uh, I think a a stretch on up the river with Pete the other day. Uh, my wife went, myself and Pete and, and his wife Tron went and uh, had a good time. It was a lot more uh, rocky than, than what I've, uh, I've uh, been on before so it was a lot more uh, scoochy type but uh, we made it through. We christened Jesse's new boat and got it some good uh, some good old-fashioned scratches on the bottom and uh, so we're gonna be taking out my Tsunami 145 and uh, we're gonna be doing about five and a half miles I believe it is and we're gonna be going from the Saxbaha put in or sex Mahal paddle access uh, down to uh, Union Bridge I believe it is now if you've seen uh, the River Kings video he does a Hall Hall River guide series this would be part seven I believe that we're going on today so anyways Tracy's supposed to be joining me soon I believe he's fixing to head out from his house he lives about 30 miles away and uh, he'll be joining me a little bit and we'll be hitting the water I think we got Tracy pulling in. There he is. TA, baby, TA, coming in. What's up, good sir? Man, it's good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Good to see you. Good deal, man. Hey, can you fit right here? And then we can just carry your boat over and put it in that one? That'd be all right? Awesome, good deal. I feel like I'm a risen. I'm shaking off the dirt and crud. We're at the uh, Hall River Kayak and Canoe. Uh, at, uh, see, it's Saxapal Access. I got Tracy here with me. Just met him today. We got just about identical boats here, seems like. But we're going to do about five and a half miles down the Hall River on a stretch that neither myself nor Tracy has done before. So it's going to be a good time today. We'll probably do a little. Uh, dragging along the way, but uh, and uh, if you've seen the River Kings Hall River Guide series, this would be part seven that he went on. That uh, Tracy said he has memorized to the T. So I'm going to follow him today. <laughs> He's going to lead out, but no, Tracy's a good guy, and it seems like you're popping up on everybody's YouTube videos now. Uh, well, Kevin's. I'm a Pete's. dead ringer of something. There you go, buddy. There you go. So we're going to get this started. I think it's supposed to take us about two and a half hours. And uh, we're going to play by ear. If we, uh, we feel like paddling a little bit more after that, we're going to do so. But it uh, should be a good trip. You know what I mean? Man, that looks like that water's moving. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> Let's go down and check it out, man. That looks like the mouth. But the new river we're going through. Bro. There's the hardest part of that. I thought... So I guess we'll have to slide down this here, these stairs right here. And not fall in in the process. No. No, it goes right in the water. And we got this little calm part right here. We can just put one person in and. She's moving a little bit, at least right here. But of course, it is kind of squeezed in a little bit, so. I was fighting in a battle that just couldn't be won, but I refused to accept my fate. Doing nothing as my life slowly faded away. Didn't know if I could do it, I just had to begin. No towing at the water, I just jumped right in. If I had to do it over, I would do it again. Never know what you'll find inside until you look within. I was drowning in that ocean, fighting for a breath of air. But when I hit the 
bottom It was only up from there A little bit. I didn't mind. Just enough to cool off. Yeah, just enough to cool off. <laughs> that water felt pretty good and had my feet in it though. Right at the, right at the beginning there. It felt darn good. Yo, he's gonna go left. I think I'm off. Right down the center here. I wasn't going to swim. <laughs> that was the one thing I was not yeah. going to do. <laughs> I sit here all day on this rock, but I'm not swimming. <laughs> uh, Alright, I don't know what's going on up here. Let's see. Looks like it's river wide, so this must be that weird. Like you go that way and down the side. Give it a shot, man, if you want to go that far over. I'm hoping this is alright. <laughs> oh, it's a big rock. Oh, that's all right. That's good. Let's see if I can spin around time to get crazy. There we go. I'm gonna see because it looks smooth over here, yeah. and this looks like trouble over here. <laughs> It's not the rock dog. He said stay right, isn't it? Probably. But that wouldn't be much fun, would it? No. <laughs> okay. There's a little danger in the rock. <laughs> 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 you know, right probably, yeah, probably. Trace and I have probably been on the river, I don't know, maybe an hour, something like that. And uh, it's been pretty easy going. I uh, had a few little rabbits in there, but nothing super technical. I think we, uh, I think it was just enough to keep it interesting. So, uh, but I've been enjoying this boat, this new Tsunami 145 that I've got, that you've seen the tip of. And uh, I'm kind of enjoying this uh, bottle holder they got under here. I'll bring it down here so you can see. Nice little place to put your, uh, put your drinks at and stuff, which is really, really neat. There's a rudder system there for those of you who haven't seen it operate. It's a push, pushing um, on both sides, or one side at a time, should I say. So it's not a pivoting one, but it's a push in and out type. So if you can kind of see how that's working or not. But uh, this is pretty cool here. You got a little bottle holder. You can pull this up. I think you had a longer bottle, and you can pull this up over the uh, cap on it. Pretty nifty, I think. Of course, the deck bags are pretty nice, too, they got up here. Uh, you basically just can kind of reach up in there. I got like another bottle in there. It does a little hook thing up here. Got another one on that side. But you basically just unhook it and uh, open that guy up. Plenty of room. I got a little sunscreen in there. You can put all kind of stuff in there. All kind of stuff. So, not that it would take the place of a deck bag, but uh, you know, pretty close. 
pay extra special attention to me. I, I am narcoleptic. Did you fall asleep anywhere? Yeah. No, it'll wake you up when you... I can't swim. <laughs> really? No. You can float, though. I'm kidding on both counts. Oh, okay. I'm saying, you'll wake up <laughs> eventually. I just thought that'd be a fun joke to play on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can scoot through this stuff. Nah. Uh oh. Yeah, you fitting to do something beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh, man. Lean down river. That was a bad idea. That's why I want to get out of here. You want to get out of here? <laughs> All right. It's just a. It's not. It's you know. You just make a choice. See what happens with it. But Tracy has found himself, uh, the front of his boat got to know the rock. I think he was trying to introduce him, and uh, he did well. He did well, but I think we were needing a little action, wouldn't you say? Oh, there he's, he's got it going, though. There we go. Improvise, overcome, adapt. There we go. That sounds like some military terms. Well, if you're in the Marines. Oh, okay. Here, that looks like a bunch of pinned up stuff. I mean, it's not that we couldn't make it, but... Yeah. Tracy's going to show us how to ferry on the river. He, uh, he had some practice the other day. I well, no, I don't know if he did. I think it was somebody else. But uh, he's making it like a boss right now. So we're just going to ferry a little bit and do a nice little peel out. There he goes. We're thinking we're supposed to be over here to the right. Neither one of us really remember. Here. Cleared it. This is always dangerous getting turned sideways on stuff. That wasn't the best idea either. Nope. Oh, I didn't get it all, Adam. That wasn't the best idea you've ever had. Alright, let's reach under here and see if we can move. Ah, here we go. You know. As long as you learn to reach in the water, I think a little bit, and hit those rocks with your hands, you can push yourself off of most of it. Looks like Tracy made it through easy peasy. I just need to get my boat pointing downstream so I'm not hitting things with the side. I got my rudder up just in case. And uh, oh yeah, it just looks beautiful. It looks nice and fun. And, oh, here we go. And hopefully we'll get through it nicely. Before my battery dies. Oh yeah, here we go. A little bit of action right here. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. That might not be the best option. Might not be the best. I don't have to. Yeah, I mean it, it could. Just put your hand out on that rock so you don't slam it. We got this, man. Just got to work right in here. Like a three-point turn in here, man. <laughs> There we go, now I'm in it. You might be able to get in there, bud, if you want to, and we can, uh... yeah, just come on in, however you want to do it, man. Come on in.
You're gonna have fun getting off that rock. <laughs> you, you may not get off it, man. You're pretty wedged in there right now. Yeah. Oh, dude, the plastic's left on the rock. Huh? Your plastic's still sitting on it. You scraped off a good chunk and it's still sitting on the rock. I gotta get a picture of that. Some of your, <laughs> some of your yellow plastic stuck on it. Oh, really? That's awesome. So Tracy just scraped off of it, got off the rock. I didn't think he was gonna be able to get off, but and I don't know if this is gonna show or not, but so the river has kept a small chunk of Tracy's boat. You can see that little yellow curl right there. Right about right there above my finger. There should be a nice flow through right here. I think it's that little thing he was talking about in the video. Right here in between these rocks. I forgot what he called it, like a, uh... There we go. Yeehaw, baby. Alright guys, so Tracy has been kind enough to let me use his, uh, well, brand new, uh, was it, RPC3 paddle. And, uh, he's actually had it at, uh, what did you say, 220? 220 centimeter? I think is what he said he had it at. And uh, it feels about right for me. I had like the Werner Skagit, which is I think a 230 centimeter, and uh, and I, it just felt it feels a little bit too long for me. It's not so much that the weight is bad, but I'll tell you, this one's a lot lighter and stuff. And so I think I've been enjoying the length, and I have uh, enjoyed the uh, the um, lightness of it and stuff. So I'm fixing to give it back to him. But I thought I'd you know point out to folks that uh, you know I don't know what the price point is. Uh, I think a little bit over 200 is what he was telling me. But uh, it's it's a nice paddle. I can see where it'd make a, a difference. Um, like I said, the big thing for me is the fact that it's a little shorter. It just seems seems better, and uh, that paired with the lightness, I think, is is what makes it pretty nice. So I may or may not get something like that. I don't know if I exactly want to follow the crowd or just break the mold. I'm not sure, but uh, it is a nice paddle for sure. So we made. There you go. We made it to the takeout. We got to pull up up these stairs. Call the wife for the shuttle, and we're good to go.